Hey everyone, Andrew here with Nashville Severe Weather. This video forecast update is at about 4.30 p.m. So any updates that come after this take the place of this video, but really this video is in effect is about 4.30 p.m. Uh, just with a few updates for you as we get uh, closer to have some storms come in tonight. But man, you wouldn't know it looking outside. Man, it's a nice afternoon. Had some rain this morning, but things turned really pretty outside. And uh, we've had a lot of sun, so there's been a lot of questions as to whether that may enhance the uh, severe weather threat for tonight, but we'll just have to we'll have to see. But really, we don't know that it'll have a huge effect. We're just going to have to wait for some data to come in over the next few hours and see what kind of shape the atmosphere is in to accept the storms that are coming in tonight. So let's take a look at the radar out there right now. Now this is just a kind of a Middle Tennessee radar that you're used to seeing. And other than back there in Henderson County, Carroll County, west of the Tennessee River, there's really not any downpours out there. So that's really about it out. There. There, pretty nice afternoon. But if we go back to the west, we can see back to the west that we have uh, our main event. This is our main event shaping up out there. And this is back in central Arkansas. And there's some severe thunderstorm warnings and even some tornado warnings now. Tornado warning right along I-30 out there around Hope, Arkansas. And again, this is around 4.30 p.m. And so uh, they're expecting that out there. They've got a tornado watch in effect, and are, they're expecting a pretty decent severe weather outbreak out there as far as uh, tornadoes and straight-line winds, especially right around the Greenville, Yazoo City, Greenwood, and Vicksburg area all the way up to Memphis. So over the next several hours, we'll probably see this area fill in with some more watches as their main event sets up out there to the west. So that kind of gives you a picture of what's headed our way. And let's talk about kind of what to expect once it gets here. So let's take a look at the Storm Prediction Center outlooks. And this first one here is uh, sort of a general outlook that you might be used to seeing uh, where it's on really a scale from one to five. And with this outlook, we are in a three out of five. So the four is down to our southwest, again, from Memphis back down to Greenville, uh, Mississippi, and uh, back in that area. So uh, the worst of it appears to will take place back to our southwest, but we are in a level three out of five. But what does that mean? What, what does a, a three out of five mean? Well, let's sort of put it in perspective here and look at the specifics as far as different severe weather modes go. So let's first take a look at the wind threat map. And this is the probability of damaging straight line winds. Now, these are all within 25 miles of you. All right. So draw a circle, a you know, a circle around you 25 miles. And uh, so that circle is going to be 50 miles across. Right. So 25 miles of you is uh, is kind of what we're talking about here. So there is a 30 percent chance that there will be damaging straight line winds somewhere within 25 miles of you. Uh, that's what this map means. Now, we also notice that there's kind of this hatched area that shows up on the map that is basically west of I-65, basically western parts of Williamson County and parts of Davidson County. That means that there could be some especially strong straight line winds with these storms, especially west of I-65. So uh, there is a, a possibility that we could get winds even 70 miles an hour or so, maybe even a little tad stronger in those damaging straight line winds. That's what that hatched area means in the map. So again, 30% chance of strong damaging winds. Now let's talk about tornadoes. There is a non-zero chance of tornadoes. There's not a lot of energy to produce tornadoes, but especially west of I-65, there is a 10% chance that if you're west of I-65, you'll see a tornado somewhere within 25 miles of you. Okay. 10% chance. That chance goes down to 5% basically east of I-65, okay? So that's what that means, and that hatched area is off to our southwest. So we're not expecting any incredibly strong tornadoes. Those, those should stay back to our southwest tonight. And the probability of hail, 5%. So 5% chance within 25 miles of you, there will be an instance of large hail, one inch or larger. All right, so those are the probabilities of what we can expect tonight. Now let's go over and look at the HRRR 
The HRRR model, I'm just going to quickly show this, just dealing with the timing, still looks like the line of storms will be here somewhere around midnight, crossing I-65 and bringing, again, the chance of those strong, damaging straight-line winds and some uh, maybe some hail, maybe some tornadoes. We're just going to have to see once it gets here, and we'll also get a chance to see the weather balloon this evening, the weather balloon data, uh, somewhere around 7, 8 o'clock, something like that, and that'll give us an idea of what the atmosphere is looking like up there as these storms start to come in. All right, now let's talk about what to do, how to handle uh, these storms as they as they arrive. All right, how do you prepare for this? Uh, first of all, get your weather radio, your NOAA weather radio. This is a nighttime event, so if you're planning on going to sleep or going to bed before midnight, before maybe 11 o'clock, uh, you're going to want to have ways to get woken up if you have a warning that's issued for your area. So NOAA weather radio is a great idea. Uh, program it to your county. Also, your apps, your Wake Me Up weather alert app uh, that you might have. We like Stormwatch Plus. There are others out there. But your your Wake Me Up app, you're going to want to have that ready to go, have it armed. And uh, that way, if a warning is issued for your area, you can act quickly and you'll get woken up. Uh, also, uh, let's talk about the tree issue, the trees. Uh, we could have some strong winds. There's a wind advisory that goes in effect at 7 o'clock tonight. Even outside of the thunderstorms, we could have some gusty winds, a gust perhaps up to 50 miles per hour. Um, then when these storms come through, we could have winds even up to 70 miles per hour in some isolated spots. Um, and even through the night, all the way to tomorrow morning, we could still have some gusty winds behind this line of storms. So uh, we've had some loss of life in Middle Tennessee because of trees coming down in the strong winds. Some of those have involved vehicles. Some of them have involved people just being outside. Please be careful around the trees. Um, it, it, in a split second, your life or somebody else's life could change forever. And so please be careful around the trees if the wind picks up. And, uh, and you're either driving, you're outside or something, please be careful around the trees, all right? So um, we will be on Twitter, at Nash Severe WX. We'll also be on YouTube Live. So if we have any updates as far as warnings go, if a severe thunderstorm warning or tornado warning is issued for Davidson or Williamson County, we'll go on YouTube Live and we'll cover it there. Uh, but of course, we'll still be there on Twitter at Nash Severe WX. Hope you all have a great afternoon. And if you have any questions, hit us up on Twitter. Between our families coming home from work and school, we'll try to get in there and answer a few questions uh, before these storms get here. All right. Talk to you later. Sure.